First to Pitch is an entrepreneur who hails from Davao City. He brings with him a sweet proposition to bring more Pinoy source chocolates to the world. Hey, Rico. Hello, John. So, Rico, you are from Davao? Correct. And uh, you are a second generation cacao trader. You export chocolate cacao all over the world. That's right. And now you're here to pitch your business to the investors. What is your objective uh, coming into the tech edition of the final pitch? My objective is to revolutionize the Philippine cacao industry, particularly adding technology to as to how we trade uh, chocolates around the world. There's already a trend of using blockchain technology to do that, and we wanted to invite investors to help us implement blockchain technology to our um, business. So Rico, you're the first entrepreneur today. Good luck. Thank you, John. 29% of the consumers online wanted to see a radical change in terms of the information that they get in the digital world. 27% of that wanted to change a radical transformation in terms of the customer experience when making a purchase online. Anything less than that could mean a $4.7 trillion loss in the business industry. We want to overcome that. My name is Rico Blando. I'm the founder and CEO of Tablia Filipino. We help export Philippine chocolates to many places around the world. And today, we're seeking for $75,000 in exchange of 10% of the company's equity. We're also looking for partners that's able to understand and appreciate data science, data analytics, artificial intelligence, blockchain technology, and different payment gateways in order for us to access millions of consumers worldwide. We started with zero sale, but just in less than two years, we were able to sell more than six million chocolates worldwide. And there's no big secret to it. Why? Philippines is already known as one of the top-notch producers of chocolate in the world. We've done research, and after analyzing data and based on the feedbacks of our customers, we realized that there's one component to improve customer experience, improving the traceability of Philippine chocolates. How do we exactly do this? Blockchain technology. The US FDA already studying the possibility of requiring imported goods in the US to be ready with blockchain. They believe that once they implement blockchain into their food system, it will improve the efficiency of the supply, but at the same time, it will encourage food safety. At the moment, the demand for chocolate is around 5 million metric tons, but the current global supply is roughly around 4 million metric tons. There is a huge possibility for the Philippine chocolates to take part in this venture. 80% of the cacao production in the Philippines comes from Davao region, and majority of it comes from Davao City. We have the supply, we have the talent. So there is that huge opportunity. And more than that, we live because we have purpose. Chocolate is about love, and we want to spread that to the communities where we live. Before I end, allow me please to introduce to you our products. Thank you. Thank you. Padayan. <laughs> Salam, my son. Thank you. Thank You're you. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm gonna try. How was it? How was it? It's good. Pretty good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Rico. Uh, yes, sir. Here at Tucano Manila, we are very big supporters of Go Local, uh, local products, and uh, obviously organic. You, may, uh, you mentioned uh, handmade, so that's a great start. But uh, considering the global uh, cacao shortage, and we know that it exists, uh, and you're presenting a business model that has a uh, huge expansion plans, but how confident you are that you'll be able to cope with the production and w what capacity are you looking at in the next uh, year or two? We know that there is an existing potential in Davao City in terms of producing not only high quality but in terms of volumes. We have talked to so many farmers, not only in Davao but even in outside Davao City. They can produce the supply. We operate 230 branches of um, a milk tea shop and we used to partner with the biggest local yes. chocolate um, firm in the Philippines, yeah. So we had a successful launch. So let me ask you if I am going to ask you to supply to me for 230 branches nationwide in the next few months, 
Is that something you're capable of doing? Absolutely. So that's probably my offer for you. Yeah, we can probably consider your product for our um, next collaboration with your dark chocolate. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, so, so, so you're asking for $75,000 in terms That's of the correct. fundraise. I actually think you can hit the whole thing here with, all the, <laughs> with the six of us, but I'm ready to put in $25,000. I'm just trying to think, uh, I'm trying to get a better deal for myself here. That's mm -hmm. all. I think 10%, I want a little bit, if I'm going to put money in and then, because uh, I mean, like I think at Coins, like we're, we want to be a blockchain leader and we're actually doing a bunch of sponsorships here. One of the, the branding here I already have is like, we want to put Philippine chocolate on the blockchain, which is kind of like what you have right here. And then I, you can, I can even help you to do pre-sale through NFTs. All right. Okay. Yeah, actually, like overall from my end, uh, you seem to be like a really great founder. and You're dedicated uh, to what you want to achieve. You have a big vision here. I want to support you personally. Thank you. So for me, I, I'm willing to write a personal check of $10,000 to, to whatever valuation we, uh, we can agree here. All right. For me, I want to be able to help you deepen your roots given our work in the community and with national line agencies. I want to be able to put in $20,000, but unlike way, I need to negotiate for something higher because I know what I can bring to the table. I need minimum 15%, $20,000, and I'll help you with the digitalization of the supply chain and also with the technology. Thank you. I really love your story from the Thank start. You. You know. Thank you. I was very impressed how dedicated you are and it's very inclusive because you're not only helping your business but basically you're also helping the farmers no? and that's really very inclusive. So just like my colleagues here, probably I invest 20000 and then yeah maybe. Oh, we, need a, we need a good deal on the, yeah, the terms. Yeah, we need right? a good deal on the terms. Same with Amor, maybe 15% stake in the business also. Thank you. I have hesitations on the supply. Yeah, and on the supply chain as well. Um, so, um, as I said earlier, my offer to you right now would be um, having a partnership with you. Yeah, so um, my colleagues will probably invest and then I'll do business with you guys. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, from my perspective, I would like, if um, we strike a partnership in the future, I would like to have a consistent uh, delivery and no interruption in the supply chain to the property. Yes, we will deliver. Investors, I heard your offers, and we're ready to partner with you and help a lot of cacao farmers in Davao City. We can now bring more Filipino chocolates around the world. Thank you, guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank Congrats, you. Man. Thank you, thank you. I never thought that Davao Chocolates uh, will have very good and positive feedback from the investor judges, which inspired me a lot because we're doing hard work for Davao cacao farmers. He's passionate. See, yeah. for me, passion usually gets me, but this yeah. is the first time that I've heard someone actualize what I've been dreaming of for so long, yes. which is the tokenization and way. Part of the reason why I'm in is because you're in, dude. So. <laughs> If we can tokenize commodities like pili and chocolate, it's going to go a long way.